Are you struggling to get 60 frames per second inside Elden Ring? So let's get into it. Hello everyone, my name is Isense and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best settings for Elden Ring inside the game and actually inside Windows and how to make sure that the game is working really optimized. First of all, we have to jump our desktop. Alright, we are on our desktop. Uh, as you can see, my NVIDIA control panel is open. First of all, jump into your NVIDIA control panel if you have NVIDIA, but if you are using AMD. Uh, as you can see, on this side of the screen, shows all the settings that you have to apply for AMD. Radeon settings or Radeon control panel or maybe uh, or Radeon Adrenaline, yeah, Adrenaline settings that you can see in here. Just pause the video, copy all these settings and apply it to your control panel. And for NVIDIA control panel, just pause the video, copy to the right side of the screen. As you can see, image sharpening turn off, ambient occlusion turn off. RTS copy filtering, turn off, FXAA off, AA mode, application control, AA transparency off, background maximum frame rate, put it on uh, 20 or 30, whatever you want it because uh, maybe sometimes you want to alt tap from the game and if you don't put the number in here, the game actually in the background take all your resources. So it's gonna make, uh, gonna make your system struggle to hit that frame rate even in the background so that's not a good option could a gpu select all right uh, and click on it and select their gpu low latency mode select this to on but uh, because i'm a laptop i have only ultra if you're a laptop user then go for ultra if you are a pc user or desktop user go for on instead of off max frame rate turn off open generating gpu your own gpu whatever it is Power management mode, optimal power. Shader cache side, do not change this setting because if you do, your C drive gonna take much more cache for your Nvidia and that's not good, that's not good at all. Optimize for compute performance, turn off. Let's go for next option, it's called texture filtering AA sample optimization, turn on. Negative LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering quality, high performance. Texture filtering to liner optimization, turn on. Come down, you see treated optimization. Some CPUs had advantage for this option, but some CPUs doesn't have any advantage for using this option. So you have to test it out. If your CPU has too many cores or too many treats at the moment, so you're gonna select this on auto. But if you if you are on low end CPU or maybe two core or four cores like that, just put it on off and test it yourself. And maybe sometimes uh, it's work the opposite thing so you have to test it triple buffering and vertical sync i'm using it in all of my games so it doesn't matter which game is it but uh, if you want to hit more than 60 frames per second turn it off but if you want to get solid 60 frames per second so turn it on and um, if you turned on vertical sync it says uh on, not adaptive or fast maybe you can go with fast if if you want to but uh, it will take much more resources of your graphic card so watch for it when you're using it triple buffering turn on when using wishing if you don't use wishing turn off virtual reality pre-rendered frame i'm gonna put one for competitive games like csgo or any other games but in elden ring it's not comp uh, it's not it's not actually a competitive game so I'm gonna put number two or three even if it's possible. So uh, that's it. That's it for Nvidia settings. Let's close this window. All right. Next thing you see on the left side of the screen is the best game setting that you can find. Just pause the video. Copy all these settings inside your game. All right. Let's go for next thing. Next thing is make sure that our Windows is optimized carefully. So uh, because. You don't want to mess your windows and you don't want to mess with your system performance because if you do um, maybe you got bottleneck in cpu or stuff like that and that's not good actually so let's get into it first of all we have to make sure that our windows is updated come into windows click on that and go to setting on the settings menu come to update and security in windows update click on check for update if you see this error like me it means that your update failed to install all you have to do is just search for internet this code this code just search this code and select uh search for 
fixing in installing this uh, this update and there will be a bunch of tutorials to do too and next thing is delivery optimization turn it off um back to settings menu come to gaming mode and in here xbox game bar turn it off captures don't, don't do anything in here game mode turn on make sure game mode is turned on all right come back in here come to system i'm all the way down to graphics settings because i'm laptop user so i don't have the option called hard gpu hardware scheduling so but if you do then use it enable it and if you enabled it you have to reassert your pc to take it effect but next thing is just coming to here graphics settings click on browse and uh, add your game shortcut to here click on that go to option and put high performance not power saving or let windows i'll just put high performance and click on save that's done all right next thing is finding the game shortcut like this game right click on it and go to open file location or maybe if it doesn't have open file location go to that direction of the game that you install it and if you install it on via steam it would be this pc your c drive your program file and your steam folder steam apps common and etc but uh if you have like me if you have subfolder like me it's called steam library steam apps common and whatever the game it is come all the way down until you find the game.exe file that has most size that you can see for example right here we have two things because rainbow six also has volcano mode so it's uh, it's normal to have a two high size file but for Elden ring you will see two files one of them has biggest size so like right click on it go to properties go to compatibility tab and come here until you see disable full screen optimization turn on run program as administrator turn on change high dpi setting and click on this and system enhance override high dpi scaling behavior system enhance click ok and ok that's done also make sure that you close background applications to make sure that the game can maintain more ram to maintain the best frame rates as possible to do so just open your task manager select the processor tab in here you will find a bunch of different services or maybe apps for example discord just close it when you're playing this game because this game requires more many because this game is an open world game and open world games means more ram so if you release more ram in your system to make sure that the frame rate is uh hitting 60 frames per second that's great but if you don't you're you're struggling to stuttering issues and stuff like that but next thing is a tip that i'm gonna give you is using islc if you don't know what is islc just go into the description below and download the file i pre-configured it but um, as it shows it says total system memory it is your actual physical ram that is installed on your hardware it's time by list and system ending i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what it is actually free memory is that of how much ram is free on your pc okay next thing is the least size is at least do not change this number do not change this number but this number free memory is lower than half of your physical ram if you have 16 gigabytes of ram it would be 8000 megabytes and it doesn't matter actually to put that uh like to put that actual number just put 8000 megabytes and that's done that's done click on both of these options come enable custom timer resolution put maximum timer resolution in here maximum timer resolution whatever it, this number is and when you pull it just come into ISSC pulling rate put it this number to 1000 not 500 only 1000 and um, yeah that's it hope you enjoy this type of content let me know in the comments below if these settings work for you or if you get hit uh, 60 frames per second I mean like solid frame per second and um, yeah that's it for today hope you enjoy this video see you in the next one peace